This is The Win Weekender, a comprehensive recap of the major story making the news this past week. I'm your presenter, Andre Huey. This week on The Win Weekender, we recap one of the biggest stories this week, Team Unity's call for civil society to respond to the non-tabling of the motion of no confidence for over 20 months to date. At a press conference this past week, former leader of the People's Action Movement, Mr. Lindsey Grant, called for the town to be shut down in protest of the government. Win TV's Ken Richards has the story. Thursday made it exactly 21 months, one year and nine months since the parliamentary opposition filed a motion of no confidence in the administration of Prime Minister Denzel Douglas. At a news conference Thursday, Team Unity election candidate John Powell told reporters that the opposition alliance finds it difficult to fully celebrate the Federation's 31st independence anniversary at a time when there continues to be a parliamentary stalemate in St. Kitts and Nevis. September 19 is Independence Day. I think it is very disheartening, especially at this point in time, perhaps even ironic, that as we attempt to celebrate 31 years of independence in this country, that you have such important offices and institutions in this country that are going contrary to the very constitution that comes out of, of our independence. When you have a matter as important as a motion of no confidence that is pending for some 21 months now, in the face of an, a, a judgment coming out of the high court of this country, one must ask, are we really independent? Or are we independent on or to an illegitimate government? And I say that I, for one, cannot stand with the Douglas administration and celebrate independence. I stand with the elected majority, not just in the House of Assembly, but in this country, who understand what true independence is about and understand that what is happening in, re in reference to the delayed tabling of the motion on no confidence is unacceptable. And I believe that as we go forward, it is now time for the people to take a stance and show that we are really independent in this country, to show that the Douglas administration must not be allowed to run around and portray itself as a government, and that what we have is an illegitimate regime that must be validated either by the immediate tabling of the motion of no confidence or to a general election, which I am confident will result in a government of national unity at the end of the day. Team Unity's Lindsey Grant, former PAM leader and also an election candidate, suggested that restraint on the motion of no confidence had failed to yield results. It appears to me that The country, including civil society, would wish Rome to burn so that we can have a tabling of the motion. We have been very clear in how we approach this matter. We have said that we follow the rule of law, etc., etc. But where has, fall, where has that seen us or given us a result? Absolutely nothing. Nowhere in the world can you have a motion in Parliament for 22 months and nothing has happened. I have lost confidence in civil society. I have lost confidence in regional institutions who they too allow Dr. Douglas to be masquerading with a motion of no confidence on the table 22 months. If something were to happen in St. Kitts and Nevis tomorrow, which flares up, gets out of hand, 
creates chaos in the country, then people are going to be all of a sudden concerned. We are saying that by no stretch of the imagination, this should be allowed to happen. And the fingers cannot be pointed at team unity. The fingers have to be pointed at all of us, all of us, each and every one of us, including civil society. Because in fact, civil society is supposed to be in the vanguard of protecting the rule of law. Because if civil society would get together and analyze this issue impartially and clearly and do what is necessary to be done, you will see how quickly we have the motion table. What do you think is necessary to be done? At this point in time, it is absolutely necessary to bring this country to a grinding halt. Absolutely necessary. Because what we are establishing is a precedent for future generations. We are telling future generations that what is happening today is correct. Can't be. It's either right or it's wrong. There's no halfway house here. If it's right, well, let's continue as is. If it's wrong, let us bring it to a head. It is not team unity, because it's always pointing a finger over their team unity. It's not. It, is each, it is each and every one of us, without, with our own individual and collective beings, to bring this matter to a head. This matter needs to be addressed. Do you think team unity has someone to do that kind of thing? Which is, which is why I said there is a quiet in the country and a quiet storm may very well be brewing. WINN is 98.9. 98.9 is Win FM. Win FM's mission is to contribute meaningfully to the information, awareness, and the development of our nation and the region through the building of educated and informed communities. Win FM faces the issues squarely without shying away from controversy while striving continuously to provide balanced, responsible reporting. Better music, better talk, better radio. 98.9 Win FM. Welcome back to the Win Weekender. We continue the story of Team Unity and the call for action to protest the non-tabling of the motion of no confidence. The issue was also taken up by opposition MP Eugene Hamilton, one of six elected opposition parliamentarians in the National Assembly. If I can just add something to what Lindsay Grant is saying. In response to your question, Team Unity does have the support to be able to carry out that kind of mobilization. 70% of the people in the Federation 70% of the people in the Federation have indicated their willingness to support a government of unity. And because of that, I am fortified in saying that Team Unity does have the support for that kind of mobilization. But this is what Lindsey Grant is saying, and which must be made very clear. The pointing a finger at Team Unity does not solve the problem because the problem is a societal problem, and it is not a political problem only for Team Unity. It is a, a problem in which the entire public should engage itself. For example, it's only very recently that organizations that are civil society organizations are inviting the prime minister to be making presentations at these functions. They must send a strong message from their organization that the conduct of the government cannot be acceptable to them as civil society. Not that it has to come from team unity. And while I agree with you that team unity has a role to play. I don't want anyone in the country to, to, to just sit back and accept the fact that Team Unity is supposed to do this rather than it is a responsibility of all of us in the society. General Powell too took a stab at the mobilization issue. Can Team Unity mobilize? Yes, we can. And let me put it in a different perspective. We have been holding back the dogs. We have the capability to bring this country to a halt, to shut down the economy and shut down the government. But is that in the best interest of the people at this point in time? The concept of team unity is three 
independent political parties coming together to work together in the best interest of all. And we do not necessarily believe that as has been done before, mashing up the town is in the best interest of the people. What is in the best interest is to have the people who claim to, to want to, to sit in these powers of authority and of high regard to do what is right, to do what is right according to the Constitution and to do what is in the best interest of the people. We do not believe that we need to come and mash up the place, but can we do it? Yes, but we are men of integrity. We also sought to find out if Team Unity has any clue just when the coming election will be held. Some opposition alliance members have mentioned that it might come in a couple of months. Others have mentioned the month of October. My answer to that would be that Team Unity is ready and we are prepared. Whether it comes in October or it comes in December or it comes next year, we are ready. And what I want to tell the general public, not only are we ready, we are going to be the new government come the next election. And I think it is important for everyone to get that message that this election is an opportunity for them to be the judge and the jury to determine the life of the present administration to end that life. It is not for anyone else but the voters to get out in this election and to make a decision to point out to the entire world that this country is on a wrong track and that Team Unity has come together to put this country back on track, on the right track. So it is the voters we are calling upon. That's 70%, let's make it 80 now and go out and put Team Unity to govern the country. What that kind of I assume by that question that you have not seen the polls that were done last year, and I, therefore I, I, I am I will send you a copy of the polls. Last year, Mr. Hamilton, yes. a lot of time has passed. People have changed their minds. Do you have any fresh polls that suggest what you're suggesting? Well, we at the, at the moment we are conducting polls. And, the, and we will be able to reveal to you in time what any new polls will provide, any, any information they provide. But, but, um, but um, as recently as this year, we've had polls that have indicated 70% support. I can certainly speak in reference to Central Bastille, where I'm the candidate. And the, the word on the ground and the feeling on the ground is that unity is what the people want. And I can tell you that since the, the polls of last year, where 70% of people were saying that they want a government of national unity. Persons who were opposed or, or weren't sold by it then are certainly in support of it now. It is almost surprising for me, but I'm happy because I think people are now understanding that the best thing for this country, the only thing that is going to restore that democracy and promote the prosperity and give the opportunity to the young people is a government of national unity. This has been The Win Weekender. On behalf of the Win TV news team, I'm Andre Huey. Thank you for watching.